Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to build a RESTful web service. RESTful web service is really very, very popular be used in SOA architecture. REST stands off representational state transfer. It's a software architecture style that to be used to create for creating a web service. And the web service, web service that come from to the REST architecture style is called REST for web service. Following is the typical HTTP method that's used in REST API. In this short video, we are going to build a GET method web service. And the GET method is used to retrieve the URL of the member resource of the collection resource in body, response body. Means in response body, we are going to put in the collection resource. The collection resource we are going to use in this video is one of preview video created a tennis player JSON file. We're going to hear it's called a player dot JSON. So in this player dot JSON we have a collection of three tennis player. So one is called a Steve Andrews, John Oliver and Susan Colley. We're going to put this to the response of our web service. So here is the C++ program, basic structure of the program. To build a RESTful web service, it's important to have implemented some library. In this video, we are going to use the RESTBED library, so we have to be include this header file. And because the read file from the JSON file, so we use the F stream. So first of all, when we create a web service, we have to set up, instantialize the resource object. So the resource object, in resource object, we have to set the path. We can call the resource, we can call the anything. So in this example, because it's a tennis player, it is in file, so we call the player. And the method, what we're going to use is the guide. And the what the get the function we use into the get is called a get function get method. So how this is empty now? We are going to create a later. And after we create a resource, we have to instantialize our setting object. So the setting where object we have to set the power number. This one we call the one two three four. And we set up default header because there's no particular sense. We just put a header, default header is connection close. And after that, we have to create the service object and start the service. So for the service object, we are going to use with use make shared with the service. In the service, we are going to say the publish. What we're going to publish, we publish our resource, which we got from here. The resource we're going to publish is our player. And uh, this is the set ready handle, is the function before we start uh, this service. So it's going to the function, fun function service ready, which is this function. We have nothing there. We're going to put, build something later. After that, it's just a service start with the setting. So let's say for the function service ready, because uh, this particular, we don't do anything. We just uh, put it out to the console, see out a message, which called the REST service of P. Player part one two three four is ready. We 
just put the console as this and as std and so once the get request come in we're going to go into this function to handle the guest okay so first of all we are going to is pass the session and the session we're going to create a Okay, now let's see. So we are going to copy paste from other files in order to save. So for this function with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we copy paste this. And we explaining what we're doing here. We copy one line more. Okay, first of all, it created two variable. It's uh, called a string variable called a response body. This variable will contain the string, which is how to reach response in our web service. And then we create a string of line, which we read for five, which line by line. And we kind create a string stream variable called a string stream variable called a my stream, which we put the O of we read into this stream. Now we start a file, instantialize a file object called my file, which is a player.json, which is that resource. And if this file is open, we use the get line method to read from file into the line, which is string. And then we put this line into the my string stream. And each line, we add one slash r slash n, which is a change line symbol. And after that, we close the file. So our string stream is contain all the file we read from file stream. And then we say our response body, which is a string, equal to my string stream dot str and after that we use session close when session close we will be put three variables one is called okay is the status and uh, tell and the second one is the response body is the string which is the json file we read from the player dot json and then we put some header information First, we put content length, which is the header, is the response body's length, which is the string length of this one, because we just convert to the string. Second, the, the element of the header, which is the content type. So content type, we put to the application, JSON. So because we read our resource collection, is the JSON file. So now we, can just uh, save this and uh, clean. So we compile this. Start compiling. The only sense of this program because some function we are going to use in the library of REST. Bad. So that's why we have to use this, this option, minor error, rest bad, and we have to use the std C11 because we use some function specially for st C11. So now our so our executable is ready. So we just start our service. So rest service of player part one two three four is ready. So to test its service, we go into our browser and we go into HTTP slash slash 192.168.0.107. This is just a home office, so we don't have a uh, we don't have a, that uh, you know the naming. So we just use the IP address of our server, and uh, so the part number is one two three four and the, our this player, so let's click this. We can see the resource collection is being put a response of the response body, 
will be showed here. So here is our player, this response. So first player is Stephen Andrews, Stephen Andrews, and the second player is uh, John Oliver, second player is John Oliver. And uh, if they, we take off one off player, let's say we delete this one from 14 to 26. 14 to 26 delete. And now if we have our results we only have two player, let's just save this and then let's um, refresh this. So our results respond only two players. And uh, if we stop this RF service and uh, let's go back to see, we refresh. And uh, there's no service, so site cannot reach. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. It's it's hopeful. It's uh, useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.